So um, the townspeople, when they got word that things were not looking okay and they saw the natatorium was looking like it was in really bad shape, they gathered to a well-lit area and they, and they looked to see what was happening and just to check it out. I have a suspicion that they were probably located close to this area where we are right now from photos that I've seen. And um, in the evening, as they were watching, all of a sudden there was a huge gulping whooshing sound and it was like the, um, the water was sucked into the earth and then all of a sudden the water started gushing out of the earth super high in the sky like a geyser. Charlotte's mother was terrified. She thought that she and her husband would be sucked into this big hole that was being created. And at the same time when the water was going in and then the water started spewing out, that's when the natatorium actually was sucked into the earth. And not only the swimming pool, but there were other buildings that were sucked into the earth. So as you look at this area right here, this water that once was beach, I want you to imagine a few buildings, including the natatorium being here, and imagine standing close to this area and looking down and all of a sudden seeing those buildings being sucked into the earth and it seems like they were eaten up by the earth and the water spewing high in the sky. It was a terrifying moment for the people of Treadwell. So when people started to notice that the natatorium was sinking and the ground looked uneven, they worked really hard to get the miners from out of the ground. Now keep in mind that the miners had to get on, um, getting cages or kind of like elevators that would bring them into, um, into the earth. And so um, they were signaled that they needed to get out as quickly as possible because they were worried that um, something tragic would happen. Happen. So they got into the cage and they ended up coming out just in time. It was not long after that that the big cave-in came in. So thank goodness none of the Treadwell miners were lost. They did say that there was one person that wasn't accounted for, but. I don't know. Some people also say that he was kind of in trouble with the townspeople, so he used it as an opportunity to skip town and not be held accountable. Now, sadly, some mules were lost, but the people and the miners that worked in the mine were okay. So this cave-in, as we call it now, because things caved in, um, was really the beginning of the end of the marvelous town of Treadwell. Charlotte's family packed up their stuff because their their house was on kind of shaky ground. They were worried about the stability and whether or not their house would collapse. So they packed up things quickly and they moved to Douglas. They were in Douglas for a year before they ended up moving out of the state. Um, because the mines had filled up with water, um, they, they needed to close this mine. And this was one of the biggest producing mines here in Treadwell. And because of that, um, they just didn't stay afloat anymore. And people started leaving the town of Treadwell because they didn't have the jobs for the miners anymore. They weren't needed. And that was the beginning of the end of Treadwell.